lovely. I feel so like regal in these sleeves. Very fancy. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Becca and if you are new to my channel, welcome. Um, I make videos about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and why I love Jesus. Um, so if you want to subscribe, definitely do that now. And then you can watch this video and check out the rest of my channel later. But today I wanted to do like a fall outfit guide for an average size woman. So I have been watching a lot of Lucy Wood recently who is here on YouTube. I'll link her channel down below. It's amazing. But basically she's like not a plus size woman and she's not like super thin so she's like average she's right in the middle and i feel like that's where i fall as well like i definitely don't fit into plus size clothes but also i'm not like a size zero or two so like sometimes the super skinny styles like don't look as good on my body type so she has like kind of started this series on her channel where she does like average size get ready with me or like average size triangle or like average size outfits and I just think that's so cool because I definitely like relate to that as well so I think I kind of want to do that on my channel too because I love fashion just as much and I also love like body positivity and like that kind of stuff so I feel like I kind of fall in that like average size whatever that means category as well um so at this point in my life I'm like a true eight um, I wear an eight in jeans um, most dresses I can fit like a medium or a large just depending on like how the bust fits um, but I do have quite a few dresses that are medium that fit really well and I have a couple that are largest so I'm like really down the middle of like the sizing um so I just felt like this would be kind of helpful like my tops are typically a medium now um just so if like you're kind of in that size range like here are some outfit ideas for you but today I wanted to go over some of like my fall favorites or like my fall pieces that I love for this time of year and you don't have to buy the exact same ones which just kind of gives you an idea of like outfits Sure. <laughs> um, so most of my clothes, or not most of my clothes, a good majority of my clothes right now are from the store Altered State because that is where I'm working at the moment. I'm the visual assistant manager at the Altered State down here in Oklahoma. Um, so I get a pretty good discount and I buy a lot of clothes from there. Uh, and then also like, um, this time last year I was much heavier so like this fall kind of into winter season a lot of my clothes have been way too big which is like a good thing I guess um so I've just kind of needed to buy some new things like especially bottoms um and some of my dresses aren't fitting as well as I would like them but now a lot of my sweaters are looking really cute oversized so I have kept those so not everything is brand new or this season but this just kind of gives you like an idea of what to look for so like for me personally when I'm looking for outfits or like outfit ideas I kind of like look at what styles I like or I see outfits on Pinterest or videos and I just kind of like go for that style so if I see like an overall dress and someone that I'm like oh that's so cute I want to try that then I look for an overall dress and not specifically the exact same one so hopefully this helps <laughs> give you some inspiration or ideas for some outfits for this fall and winter so I'll kind of just like talk you through um so I'll back it up a little this is like a cute little overall dress um I actually have quite a few of these. I have three at this point. Um, I love overall dresses. I just think they're so cute. And then um, this just like really cute little blousey top with like the fluttery sleeves is very in. Um, I have kind of gotten more into like the boho style um, going forward. I feel like my style changes all the time, which is totally fine. But I also love like jeans and basics and things like that. So this one is like a black overall dress. The reason I like them is because I feel like it accentuates like my bust and my legs while kind of like hiding or like slimming my midsection which is like where I'm not as comfortable um and also I love the idea of just like a fun flouncy sweater under it so yeah this is like my first fall outfit I've got a little side shot and I will give you more of like a close-up of the sweater sweater this is not a sweater this is a shirt <laughs> close up of the shirt so you can see it has like a really cute like florally pattern and I love the fluttery sleeves the other thing I like too is I like the balance of like my dress is more fitted but the shirt is like flouncy so it's like flouncy here and then like on the arm so I feel like it gives like a cool look <laughs> I don't know I feel like it gives cool proportions um, which I really like also y'all I have been really into braids recently I feel like I finally learned how to like semi French braid my own hair so like yes um, but yeah so I like French braid this top part and then I do it into like a long braid and I've been really into that so let me know what you think it's me all right so next up for like my fall outfit must haves definitely would say vests I love a good vest I have so many at this point um this one is from old maybe a few years ago but I feel like they have this one every year this is the one that's like modeled after the J. Crew style. It has like the quilting and the gold zipper. But what I like about this one as opposed to the J. Crew ones, I do have two of those, is that this one is thinner. Like it's a, a little bit more lightweight. So I feel like 
Um, it's not as warm, which is nice because sometimes like the J. Crew one is just too hot and sometimes it's too bulky. Like I feel like this one is very nice and streamlined. Um, and then the next thing is skirts. I absolutely love skirts. I really just like dressing feminine most of the time, like dresses and skirts. I think I have most of my life always kind of dressed a bit more feminine. Um, and then I love pairing skirts with like black tights. Um, these are like super opaque black tights too. So if your skirt is a little bit shorter, which this one is, it's like pretty short in the back. Um, your black or pink tights somehow make it look less risque. <laughs> um, but, and then I wear my skirts like pretty high waisted just so it gives like a good defining waist and then I love this striped top. Um, the other thing too is like I love this skirt um, without a vest but sometimes like when it's tucked in, I don't know, like I feel a little self-conscious about this area because I'm human. So a vest just like hides that <laughs> um, but makes it look really cute. I've actually worn this exact outfit a couple times and every time I've worn it I get like a ton of compliments on it so it's definitely one of my favorites. I love stripes, I love vests, um, if I'm like super chilly I guess I can zip it up but I just always wear it open. I wear all my vests open like all the time and the other color of vest that I have that my sister got me is like it's almost the exact same as this one only it's like a green. Um, so yeah, I just love this. And then I wear this outfit with like my cute white socks and my bean boots because I feel like those are also must have. I feel like for fall, you need a good pair of like tall boots and then also a cute pair of like shorter boots, whether it's a booty or like a bean boot that's something that's a little more like weather protecting like when it's rainy or things like that. So yeah, this is next. And then I'll also show you this skirt with like an oversized sweater because I love that look as well. So stay tuned. I love the buttons on this shirt. I think it's so cute. Okay, so this sweater you might have recognized. I bought this last year. I bought it in like a mall haul at American, no, Abercrombie and Fitch. And when I bought it last year, it was like quite fitted. And this year, it's like pretty oversized and baggy. But I kind of like that because I feel like that's the style. And then I just like slouch it up just so it gives my waist like a little bit more definition. So you can like have the oversized on top, but then it's like more fitted through here. Um, and again, I just think this is so cute. I kind of reminds me like a little bit of a schoolgirl outfit with like the tights and like the sweater, but I love this outfit and I just think it's really cute and cozy and that's kind of what I'm going for for fall. Um, so like I was saying, so when you're looking for outfits for fall for like to flatter your body type, maybe you like carry a little more weight in your midsection, is playing with like, um, I don't know, I, dimensions is the right word but basically you want to have either like something fitted and then something flouncy and then like on opposites like you never want to do all flouncy everywhere because then you'll just look like a sack um but it's sometimes like it can be a little self-conscious if you're like super fitted all the way through um so just like layering with other pieces like vests and things like that um that's kind of like what i've learned <laughs> just to flatter my body and like make me feel more comfortable and confident um so yeah so then this and then sometimes i'll like throw the vest on with this too if it's a little chilly but i absolutely love this outfit this skirt is just like a staple piece so I think if you can find a good denim mini skirt and um, that is just a good piece to have the other thing when looking for a mini skirt you can see this from there um, is you want to look for something that is like a line so for me like if I wear something that's really straight it just like bows out right here because this is like my widest part um, but if you get something a line it does flare out so it gives you more of like well, a structure. Um, so that's what I'm looking for in skirts, and then it's just really comfortable and cute. And yeah, that's your next outfit. Um, and then I have this sweater in gray as well, which I love too, and I think it looks good with this outfit as well. All right. So next, I'll just show you like how you can interchange all your pieces because I think it's like important to have not necessarily a capsule wardrobe, but pieces in your wardrobe that you can like outfit with a ton of different things. So this is my other overall dress. So the one had like the one pocket up here, the black one. And then this is my brown, which has two pockets. I think this one's my favorite. Um, I've worn this one a lot so far this season and I just love it. And I feel like I get good compliments when I'm wearing it too. This one was on my Instagram. If you're not following my Instagram, make sure you go and follow it now. It's becca.n.collins because my Instagram game is like getting better <laughs> um but i absolutely love this overall dress i just think it's so cute and this is like corduroy i think the other one is too they're both corduroy um but this one looks really cute with like the little sweater under it i wore it with like an orange blousey top underneath and then like that other blouse that i wore with the brown one like everything or the black one everything kind of be interchanged um and then i feel like this one goes down a little bit longer so I would still just wear boots with this. I also like this one with the bean boots. I think it's really cute. Um, just with some socks put on. But yeah, 
I love these. They're just comfortable and cute. <laughs> um, I'm totally into the overall trend. I don't know if it's necessarily a trend, but I feel like I'm seeing them at lots of stores. So yeah. Next up, it would not be a fall outfit guide without some plaid. Um, and then I've compared this with, again, my black tights. Okay, so staples for your fall wardrobe. <laughs> black tights, skirts, overall dresses, a jeans, which I'll show you, and plaid. It wouldn't be a fall haul. I guess this isn't really a haul. Would it be a fall outfit guide with um, out some plaid. So I love this plaid shirt because it's such an interesting shape. Like it's higher here at the middle and then it like comes down the side and also like it's slightly baby doll. But I really like this because oftentimes I feel like with my body type or my body shape, like sometimes straight button up plaids, like it either puckers right here but like fits everywhere else or it like is tight like right here. It's just like in funny spots where I'm like, it just, this doesn't look good. Um, so this I really love because of the shape. I feel like it's very flattering. I love that it comes down the sides. And then I have paired it with like a super fitted um, velvet skirt. So this skirt is from Gap oh, a while ago, <laughs> um, a long time ago. And when I first got it, it was like really, really tight and like barely fit. And now it's actually like fitting quite nicely. So that's a plus. Um, I just think it's so pretty. This red color is gorgeous. And I also like, it's a really good quality skirt. So I've had it for a long time and I think I only paid like 40 bucks for it. So this was definitely a good purchase. And I love the way it like brings out the red in this. I feel like this would be a really cute like Thanksgiving outfit. Again, I'd probably wear my bean boots with like my white like knit socks kind of tucking out from the top because I just think I love that look. I think it's really cute. Um, but yeah, I love this outfit. And again, this skirt is like a little bit shorter. So pairing it with the tights, makes it look a little more modest. Um, and also it's warmer because it's fall and we're going into winter as well. So even in Oklahoma, it's quite chilly. I did not expect that. I thought it was gonna be like 900 degrees all year round, but we're definitely having fall weather. It doesn't look like fall, like the trees aren't really changed. Like there's not a lot of the trees that change color, which is so heartbreaking. But the temperature wise, it's pretty chilly. Um, and then there's a lot of wind here in Oklahoma because it's so flat and that is pretty chilly as well. So you do need like warmer clothes. It's a good pair of ripped denim. Am I right? I feel like ripped denim is so in this year and I'm really into it. Before I was always like, why would you pay for ripped jeans? But now I'm like, it's really cute. <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely a good pair of denim. Um, it is so hard to find jeans. I totally understand. Like I definitely struggle with that as well. I'm always looking for something that says like, Wow, that was, <laughs> I'm always looking for something that's like smoothing through here, but like faded on my legs, cause like that's what I want to show off. Um, and then again, like I've just paired this with like one of my sweaters, like this is just such a fall vibes outfit. Um, it's just like super casual for the days where you're like, I don't know what to wear, just like throw on jeans and a sweater. Um, I'm trying to think of some good places that are great for jeans. Um, I feel like I haven't gotten in, but I've heard a lot of good things about American Eagle lately. I guess they've like, revamped their denim that like back in the day was like an OG denim favorite and then I feel like over the years I like stopped liking it because they weren't fitting as well um I absolutely love Madewell jeans they're so pricey but they like fit so well and make you look so good um and then these are from Altered State because <laughs> like I said I work there and I get a discount um but and also they were just like on trend and like Altered State is one of those stores that like everything is pretty much in a small medium or large and then their pants are in like junior sizing. And I was like, there's no way I'm gonna fit. And these are a seven. So like, your girl feels good. Um, yeah, so I put them on and they're pretty stretchy, which I like, which again is so comfortable. Um, the only thing is like, sometimes with really stretchy jeans, it's like throughout the day, the waistband like loosens. So I need to buy a belt. So that's on my to-do list. Um, but yeah, so this is just another like fun, cozy outfit. Um, I definitely would pair this with a vest. So let me show you that. I feel so New England right now. Like this khaki color with the gray, I feel the epitome of New England. <laughs> um, but again, so like this is what I was talking. So this is the one from J. Crew. So it's like more puffy, which is nice because it's a lot warmer, um, but it definitely is more bulky. Um, like even when it's zipped, it's very like, puffy. <laughs> it is called their like puffer vest. Um, so I just always wear it open and I think this is so cute. This is like Christmas tree shopping, which is probably more winter, but like whatever. Um, and again, I would definitely wear this outfit with my bean boots tucked, like my pants tucked into my bean boots. I just feel like this is the ultimate fall outfit, um, which I really like. <laughs> Next we've got just like a 
graphic tee. Is this a graphic tee? A worded tee? Um, a graphic tee and then a kimono. I really hadn't seen kimonos a lot in the north, I feel like. Or maybe just we got hung out with didn't really wear them. But down here, I feel like everyone wears kimonos all the time. So it's just something I was like, yeah, I'm kind of into that. Um, so it's just like a, that's so funny looking. Ah, I feel very like I'm wearing two scarves on my arms, which is basically what this is, but I love the colors. Um, and then this cute little tee. So the other thing, Altered State is like a, a faith-based company, so a lot of their graphics have like really inspiring, <laughs> like faith-based quotes. This one says, she has fire in her heart and grace in her soul, which I love. I think it's very sweet. Um, and so then just put, hey, <laughs> I cannot speak. Um, and then just layered with a kimono, I think is really cute. Um, and again, I would wear this with boots, and this is like the ultimate Oklahoma outfit, y'all. Like, oh my goodness. I love it though, I think it's so cute. Um, and then same thing, like I have started tying my t-shirts, which didn't do until I started working at Altered State, because that's something that like, our t-shirts come in tied, and that's also how, like, how we style them. And I really like that look, because I feel like it cinches in, like in this section, instead of just like laying flat, it like ties it up like here, so it like draws this, I don't know, it just looks really cute, so try it. Try tying up some of your t-shirts, um, and just see if it like works for you. Um, but yeah, for me, I feel like it hides my problem area, or the area I'm like not as confident in. And then a kimono is just really cute, because on the days when you're feeling like, why today I'm actually feeling really good which is probably why I'm filming this today um but there are some days that I feel bloated or like not as cute and so it's nice just to have something like layered to like you know and I also just feel like it's it's stylish like I'm here for the style <laughs> so this is another option for like that sweater kimono t-shirt combo thing um this sweater kimono I actually got at a consignment shop in or on the Cape in Massachusetts when I went with my mom and my meme and my sister. Um, it's from like Anthropology, but I only paid like 30 bucks for it, maybe even less, I don't remember. Um, but love it. And then this says, kind people are my kind of people. Um, and I just think that's really cute. Also, if you don't have mustard in your wardrobe at this time of year, what are you doing? Um, so this is really cute. I think that this t-shirt is definitely like, could go more like summer just because of the colors, but also like with some boots and your little kimono, you're looking ready for fall as well. So here's another kimono sweater option. Um, yeah, so I'm really into this style as well. My style is like super eclectic. It can go really boho, which is like this, I feel like it's more boho. Um, and then like the dresses with like the, what is it? Oh my gosh. The dresses with like the blouses. I keep wanting to say sweaters, but they're definitely like blouses, like shirts, they're not sweaters. Um, and, but then I also love like super casual or like very preppy with like, a cute little sweater and jeans and a vest so yeah just just do you your style doesn't have to be one style all the way through so it's whatever you like and what fits and flatters with your body next we've got a good pair of holy me black jeans um i feel like these are very trendy um and have been for a long time but i also just think they're so cute and cozy i got these at target um i meant they bought them for me um so they just have like the good holy me good pair of um black skinny jeans and then I like pairing it with like more of an oversized sweater. Um, so this one is like, again, that awesome mustard color. Um, I feel like it looks really good with like my hair color and my skin tone. I feel like it suits the mustard very well. I don't know what you're doing if you don't have a big blanket scarf. Um, so we're just gonna put this one on because I wore this outfit the other day and I absolutely loved it. Except I think I wore my hair up because the side braid thing isn't conducive to a giant scarf. <laughs> um, and then I just kind of like tuck these bits, but I just think like this outfit is all the fall things. <laughs> um, I love it. <laughs> Very like, um, witchy <laughs> in this outfit, but I love it. Okay, so next is this dress. I don't know what to call this style of dress. It's like faux suede, it's like pretty fitted, and then it like comes up all the way, but like is t-shirt length. But with a long sleeve underneath, I just think is so stinking cute. And I know it's like more fitted, which like isn't isn't always like what I go for because like it's pretty fitted in this area. But I feel like the black is still swimming. And I just love the way this looks. I feel like it looks very chic. <laughs> is that the word I'm going for? Um, but I just really like this. It's really cute and cozy. And I just think it's very fall. Um, I wore this to church the other day and I absolutely loved it. People like, again, gave me compliments on my outfit. So, you know, do I not look like Instagram? I mean, come on, this is so cute. I absolutely love this. 
Last up, we have got good old chambray dress, and then I just paired it with like a longer cardigan. Um, this probably isn't my most flattering outfit as far as like showing off my figure. It's pretty just like, as my mom would call it, a sack dress. <laughs> it just like kind of braces over my whole body. At this point, like I probably could, this is a large, I probably could use a medium, um, but I've had this dress for years. I've gone through phases where it doesn't fit at all. Um, and now it's like kind of big. And then I just like paired it with a yellow cardigan. It's kind of like that mustard yellow color because fall. Um, <laughs> but I feel like this outfit is good for those days when you're just not feeling it. Like you feel bloated or you know, you're just having one of those days where you don't feel the cutest. So you don't want something fitted or tight or <laughs> to show off your body because you're like, I just don't like, usually around my period, like there's a day or two where I feel that way. Um, and so these are nice. Like this is a good outfit where I feel like it still looks cute and stylish, um, especially with some boots, probably my bean boots. Love my bean boots. Um, but like you, it just, there's a lot of room <laughs> um, for when you're just not feeling your greatest. Um, today is not one of those days. So today I'm like, oh, I, would, I don't want to wear this. Like show my body um, but there are other days when I don't and I know we all go through that so it's good to just have some options in your wardrobe and then this dress I also do like it just with like um, the sleeves rolled and then like a cute long necklace I think is also a good outfit I do want to try wearing it with I've seen like um, at the store like some people do where they put a like like regular sweater, like pullover sweater over a chambray dress. I might try that um, and see how that looks. But you know, there are just, there are some days where I just want to wear a sack. Um, sorry, mom. <laughs> so yeah, so that's this next outfit. Um, actually, I think this is the last outfit in my video today. Um, so I hope you enjoyed or maybe like got some outfit inspiration or just felt a little bit better about what you're wearing this fall season. Um, the biggest thing is I just wanted to like represent my size, you know, like an average size where you, you know, you're not plus size, but you're not like super thin either. So I just wanted to make sure that we are represented as well. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found some things that helped you out or maybe give you some inspiration for when you're shopping. Um, if you did like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also leave me a comment in the down bar because, not in the down bar, in the comments below. <laughs> um, because I love chatting with you there. So definitely do that. And like I said, I'll link Lucy's videos or her channel because she's really good as well. Um, and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Also, don't forget to go check out my Instagram. It's becca.n.com. Collins um, and I think that's all <laughs> so I will see you later bye